Hey guys, Top Tech Tips here, and today I'll be showing you how to make a Windows 7 release candidate theme work in release to marketing. So basically converting a build 7100 theme to build 7600. So the first thing you want to do is download your RC theme and then open up the folder it's in. You'll notice that there will be Windows Theme System 32 and Logon screen, or most likely something like that. The first thing you want to do is just open up Login screen and open up Branding and open up whatever folders are in there and there will most likely be a DLL and then open up resource tuner restorator or whatever other program you have to modify DLLs and then just drag and drop that in there and then you want to go and find a folder or a DLL on, on your computer most likely it would be good if you can get the same one but it doesn't really matter and just drag and drop that in and now you'll have both DLLs open just right here and then oh I, I guess I didn't open up the other one, one second so I'll just drag and drop that in Go so on your uh, computer one I'll go to version and go to one and then just click edit however you modify it and I'll just make this smaller here one sec and then do the same thing on this one. Go to version and then edit edit it. Uh, right there. Just make it smaller again. And then you'll notice in here that that there will be like a top file version. Just change that to seven six zero zero and eighteen or sixteen three eighty five. Basically, the same stuff is right here. And then after you do that, you're gonna wanna change all the stuff right here, like where it says, see how it says Winman Win Seven RC. Go into here and just double click it and copy it, and then paste it in here and click OK. And then also do that for the product version. Double click that, copy, and then paste that in here. Click OK. Once you've done that, just close it or just click OK. Click Yes and then close it and it'll ask you to save just don't show this warning again click yes and then just save it click yes and then there you go so now that you've modified your one do that for the rest of them you can keep the same system full file open doesn't really matter but once you've done that for all of them you just basically want to copy over from here you want to copy all those DLLs to where they are so in this case it would be branding under windows so see windows branding just copy the folder over and then after you've done that just like in the other tutorial copy the themes folder to the themes folder and then just double click on this if you haven't already uh, watched how to apply third party themes go ahead and watch my video on that fairly simple thanks for watching hope i helped uh... see you next time